have some more, huh? No, you got plenty in there. Are you putting honey in the smoothie? Yeah. Can I put it in? Okay, we are making a breakfast smoothie and it just depends on what we have around the house, but we always have a base. We always have some kind of a frozen fruit, whether or not that's frozen bananas, blueberries, strawberries. Um, this morning I have some Azure Standard uh, blueberries. They are delicious, organic, and wholesale cost, so I can't recommend them enough. And I don't really measure, but... I pour in quite a few because I'm making a smoothie for four people. And I see over here, I have a banana as well. It's not frozen, but it'll be good with blueberry. So we're gonna just throw that in with our blueberries. And then somebody took my honey. Um, I usually try and throw in a little bit more protein um, on top of protein if we can. So I love this Oikos triple zero yogurt. It's got 15 grams Hello. of yogurt. Hey, honey, please stop. You're going to knock that down. Um, and then I love doTERRA whey yogurt. It is delicious. And doTERRA is just the best company in the world. So um, we're just going to add a little bit of honey sweetener to it. I just put a couple tablespoons usually in right on top of the fruit because then it mixes in a little bit better if you do the milk first. And I am using our A2, A2 raw cow's milk from our dairy cow. You don't have to use A2, A2 raw milk, but um, if I usually use store-bought milk, um, I have some kind of a stomach issue. So um, what we're doing now, we're gonna put in just a little bit of whey protein. And again, I'm making this for four people, so I am going to do two big scoops. Hey, Daniel, will you grab me a spoon, please? Hello, and my name is Tidish. <laughs> Hi, my name's Daniel. I'm sick. <laughs> okay. And a little spoon of good spoon. Just a little spoon. Thank you. Okay, so I'm adding in a yogurt. This just so happens to be peach. And this is my big scaling gun. Hey guys, I really don't like it when you do this. Please go away with the toys. You can be in here and help me. Okay, but don't be um, like that. So we're going to take our yogurt and we're going to place that in there. Again, you don't have to do a yogurt, but it does add to the smoothie flavor. It smells really good. So we're just taking in some of our milk. And because this is our dairy milk, and I've got lots of jugs out there. I always smell it. Mama. So good. So you add that to the smoothie. What'd you just break there, buddy? Okay. And then just place the lid on top. Can I stir it? Can I stir it? Um, you don't need to stir it. No, it's can I like, like put it on there? Oh, yeah. How does it mix it? Here.
here's our smoothie. We grab us some uh, cups. Yep, yeah, you got them. How did you make that? Now, if I don't have bread on hand, I always have this in the freezer. Freezer. It's Ezekiel bread, and it is so much healthier for you than regular bread. Um, look that stuff up. So our smoothie has over, let's see, 20, 40, 50, almost 60 grams of protein in here. This is so good um, for the boys. Woo! Woo! Okay, so, I'm a gorilla. Try this. Is. You want to try it? Come over here so they can see you. See if you like it. I want, actually no. Yeah. You like it? Oh. Best thing in the world, Pete. Best thing in the world. Okay, so they like it. Um, if you're looking for some good No, healthy... we don't. We love it. Okay. If you're looking no, for some don't. healthy oh. family oh. breakfast ideas. And it is great. There you go. Bye, guys.